Hey, love bugs. This is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my videos you know and if you feel like that you can really resonate uh with my videos and you really found it uh you know insightful please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated today i'm doing something different i have not did my tarot card readings for a while you know i've been doing my my, my uh videos in my room so i was guided to go ahead and do them today you know today is nine nine portal you know we're closing uh old old cycles and beginning to new whatever is not resonating with us whether it's situations or people will be closed out and what um is uh that is uh that vibes with our vibe you know is coming through so before I um, start on my tarot card collective, because um, this is all general, uh, general reading uh, for whoever uh, signs is, you know, it's not no fixed signs or anything like that. I was guided to say a message. I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, channeling lately, and um, and it's been coming back to me that how people have been, you know, doing little tarot card readings, going and paying other people to go ahead and um, do tarot card readings on me and been paying other people to give false readings about me to other people to make it seem like I'm lying about the things that I talk about. People know if you've been with me for a long time and you know we have one-on-one, -on -one, you know there'll be different things that universe and your your family, your guides will allow me to know things. There is no way of me knowing you have came to me. I have not come to you. I don't be that type of one, you know, and it's no, no disrespect towards anybody who does that. I don't come seek you out and say, hey, I got a reading for you I got a message or anything like that now this is different when I already know you and it's already guided for me to speak on to different things but there's people that know me whether we talk or not there will be different things there is no way of me knowing and I can tell you I can sit up here and tell you about what you're having for your dinner that night and what is being digested before you even have your breakfast in the morning so it is just you know it's like real recognized real when fake walk in the room you know um, so it, it's just I, I, it can be my family it can be people that don't know me or whatever I, it doesn't matter to me number one I'm not going to dim my light for nobody I'm not going to play small for nobody I'm not going to stay silent for anybody okay what I'm guided to do is been uh, directed by the most high if you have any issues about what I've been picked for on my, my path take it up with him not with me Okay, I know there has been different things that's been placed on me. I, I've had different things where people have gone and put complaints about my videos or whatever, or you've been having me shadow banned, or you put different cloaking, uh, uh, cloaking uh, spells on me so I, I don't get views or my abundance is being blocked. I know about all those things, and you also know for all the different things you've been placing on me. Now you're starting to feel the karma that you have already placed on me. And um, and it's going to get worse. Now I'm I'm that type of person. I'm really cool. I real like like I said. I keep it real. I keep it very transparent. I have a lot more to lose by lying than it is by gaining. Okay, so I have no reason to to ever lie about anything. If you know you are an empath and you've been out for a long time, you will understand the difference between somebody being real with you and somebody's being fake with you. I have no reason to be fake. If I always had, I tell anybody, if I know I got to lie about something, I'm just not going to say it because I don't want to have to remember what I said. If anything, it's like I said what I said. So it's at that point now, this is the only time I'm going to say it because it is just about me not let my enemies know. I always tell them, I already know when you're watching me. I know before I even put out my videos that you, you're going to be the first thing clicking on it because you have nothing else better to do. You're my surveillance cameras and that's okay. But it's just the fact is I'm telling people now, I know the different things that you have placed on me, even though I don't say specific on what it is, you know, I know. Okay. And I'm letting that know, you know, I have a, a lot of, uh, you know, I'm protected by my Egyptian goddesses, you know, my, my feline goddesses, my Harat, you know, Basset and all those other ones that I have that I do not care to be speaking on that I have. Uh, protection uh, you know that, that has got protection over me and the different things that I know there's been different times that I've spoke on things that has not yet came to play 
that end up coming to play afterwards. There's been different times where it's been placed in my videos where if you've been with me for a while, you've known there will be different times where I can talk to you one-on-one -on -one and say something's about to happen or I feel something's about to happen. If it doesn't happen within that year or a couple of days, it happens regardless. So... I'm just saying this now. I'm clearing the air since this is nine nine. You know the nine nine portal is telling you to speak within your power. Know your power. Speak within your light. Do not dim your light for no one. Okay. When you start getting, I already know that makes me feel kind of good in a warm fuzzy spot. When you have to go through the deepest of uh, spells, binding spells, you know, torture spells, you know, suicidal spells and stuff like that, because you know. That I, I, you know, I place a threat on you just for me speaking my my truth. My truth will be my truth, you know. And I'm not going to stop that. You only only the Most High can do that, you know. No spell can override what God has for me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start this, you know, this this tarot card reading. I'll go ahead and place, you know, um, you know, protection over this. It's gonna be a general reading. What it doesn't fly, don't don't let it. What it, what doesn't apply, let it fly. Okay, whatever it is, you know, let stick mix. Okay, all right. You know, I always make sure that y'all can see me here because I don't want nobody thinking I'm you know fixing cards and stuff like that. I don't even know how to do that anyway. But you know, usually I um I'm uh I usually lay the cards out, but it's it's said to do with this different. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You know, universe. You know, hey. What do we have for our collective today? What is going down in the DMs? Okay, that's too many. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this again. But yeah, I hope everybody's having a beautiful Friday. I know I am. I was like, shoot, my own stepped in my full-blown power today. I hope y'all been getting your meditation on, your quiet time, your water, you know, you know, out in nature. If, if you know, the weather permits it here in Georgia where I'm at. Somebody, you've been listening to music. Your music has been speaking a lot to you. Uh, your music has been speaking a lot to you. There will be a lot of different things that you have been questioning about yourself. And then it's just like if you ask for confirmation, you know, it's telling you, you know, listen to the music. The music has been speaking to you. You may do this like when you're on a jog or, you know, you're, you're traveling or um, you're cleaning up. I know I do it a lot, you know, and it's been speaking to me. Okay. Uh, your ideas. Your ideas and um, inspirations have been coming up. It's like when you're listening to your music, uh, your ideas and inspiration has been popping off. It's like really been popping. But you, you care to um, not have faith in your angels. Your angels is, is watching near you. And they're telling you to know that you're not dealing with whatever you're dealing with alone. I feel like there may be a cancer that's dealing with the legal matter. And know that everything is going to turn out fine. It may be something that somebody has fixed on you. That um, that you know you have not done. And don't worry about it. They're telling you to have faith in the most high. Um, these things are coming to a point where it's, it's actually is clearing something that may have been done. You have, may have done a long time ago and didn't get caught. And this is like a... Like a hiccup, basically, is like you know you may have gotten away with something one time, and now it's coming clear. And it doesn't have to be something that happened from this life; it could have been something from a prior life. So they're telling you it's going to clear. So don't allow yourself. You know, if you know you believe in the Most High, they're telling you to have faith in where everything is going on. It's going to clear. It's going to vindicate you. Okay, uh, half it, and it's telling you to retreat. You have not been retreating like you need to be, because that's in the reverse. So you need to retreat. Know that you have the support that you're you're needing, you know, whatever you're needing into your, your case right now. And I feel like there may be a Libra that's going through this too. And Libras, you know, y'all are probably, it just depends on that. You know, you're going through a spiritual, spiritual growth into this matter. You're going through a spiritual growth and it's taking place right now. Um, and it may have something to do, uh, not just with the, what is it? Not just with the Libra. This may be going on with the Aquarius too. Aquarius and a Pisces. It's like you've been going through a spiritual growth to where, I mean, it's just things have been crazy, crazy intense for you. It may be something that you're, you know, you may be talking about with somebody next to you, know, it's echoed to you. And it's like truth and integrity. It's coming out for you. 
truth and integrity. Whatever you may be facing right now, it's like a lot of us going through these karma clearings, and it's going to come through a friendship. It could be somebody that has recently passed that has been you may be having different dreams about, and they're telling you, uh, telling you about different dreams that's been taking place. Um. There may be different things that's been coming up in dreams that may, you know, seem kind of off. And it's coming through a healing that needs to take place. Healing needs to take place where it's in reverse. And your miracles, it's like miracles, it's like, I guess whatever this um this court case is, which I can understand, especially if somebody don't play something on you, you know you didn't do. These miracles uh, is coming through, but you have to be able to believe in it. For you to be able to get that, you have to go into retreat. Because it's like your your uh, your uh, what is it your your guardian angels are there. They're giving you different different inspiration. It's speaking to you through your music. It's giving you the ideas and inspiration for you to understand. There's spiritual growth and support that's coming and being able to understand within your truth and integrity. You got your friendship uh, that's going to lead you towards miracle and healing. So they're telling you to be able to do that. And like I said, it's coming to you in dreams. <laughs> it just came in. I said it's coming. Something's coming to you in dreams. You haven't been able to see that. Or if you have been, you know, if you've been uh, guided towards, um, you know, guided towards your different um, journaling. That's what I meant to say. I've been stuck on my daggone words, y'all. Excuse me. Going through different journaling. Okay. And just being able to know. Like I said, blessings is coming. You got blessings coming. But you, you're not feeling that because it's just the fact is the uh, answer prayer, prayers is coming through. And you have to be able to know. Okay, what else came through? And it's coming through harmony. You know, there's different things that's coming in and body care. So it's just like if you haven't been eating right, you know, drink drink water. You know, make make sure you have playfulness in your life. You know, no, stop stop taking everything seriously. But I understand if you're going through a court case and it's like some serious mess. I'm like, like shoot, okay. I'm like, uh, collective, go ahead and let me know what other things that I need to talk on. Okay. They're telling me to go ahead and push them down. Pick out three within the cards. Get in nature. Like I said, you have to get into nature. You're going through your playfulness. Okay, go through the uh, nature. Okay, so it, it's just like um, when you're going through your nature, going through nature, nature speaks to you all the time. You have to be able to trust in the process. There's different things that's been coming into you. Maybe it comes from dreams. It comes from insight. If you've been meditating a lot, there's a lot of different things that will probably come up uh, within um, spirit totems. Um, different things like that or uh, different numbers that may be coming in. They're not telling you to trust the process. You know, there's different things that may be taking place. And right now, we've been doing a whole lot of karma clearing. Like I said, you know, you can't play small. You have to be able to uh, allow yourself to be within one within your power. You know, don't dim your light for nothing. You know, step out of fear. You have to be able to do that. And trust in divine timing. That was in reverse. But it's telling you to trust in divine timing. Different things that's taking place into your life is going to be when you least expect it. And these different things that may be going on or you may, may be having health issues right now. Because I feel like there's somebody who's having health issues right now and may be coming into a line of Aquarius and um, Leo. From what I'm feeling, it's like there's uh, different health issues that may be coming in. You know, they're doing different biopsies and doing different tests to try to figure out maybe something you maybe had a line of cancer in your life. Uh, or your family line and you're making sure that you don't have it because there may have been a parent or an aunt or an uncle that has had something and it's coming in and maybe from what they're telling me this is going to be something that is not going to be detrimental to you because you have actually caught something before it can actually you know manifest within to that so they're doing a biopsy and it'll be something that'll be straight in and out you don't have to do any of these cancer treatments or anything like that it'll be something that um that you can probably just take a couple of pills for for a few, you know, for probably like a week or two. Or, you know, they give you a 30-day supply and tell you, to, you know, take as needed or whatever. And you actually caught something before it happened and it'll be benign. So they're telling you don't, you know, don't don't put that on, on to your life. Even though it may have, you know, understanding they may have gone through a lot of your family. But they're telling you not to do that. Okay. Being able to know you have a blunt abundance is coming into your life, and I feel this is coming in through uh, a sign of Capricorn. 
Capricorn and Spice. Uh, Pi I said spicy. <laughs> Capricorn and Pisces. You're going through uh, different words of abundance. You may have been tapped out for a minute, and then all of a sudden, a load of abundance is coming through. You know, you may have. Uh, you know, you may have. Uh, you know. Uh, Extra money may have came into your, you know, your bank account today that may have been a hiccup. You may have not have known about it. And then it's like, hey, um, we, we uh, made a mistake on your bank account or whatever. You may have not even known about it because you had so many different things that's going on into your life. And it was just like, hey, we put an extra $20, $30 back in your bank account because, you know, it was like too much taken out for, you know, whatever, um, whatever deposit or, or transaction or something that came in. And they said, you know, you had $20, $30. Shoot, you give, you give gratitude towards that because the more you stay, you know, grateful for what's coming into you, more will come open for you. And that's just not going to be, it's going to be a flow of that. So you're gonna have that. Hey, you may even get a scratch off. Go play, you know, play a, a lottery ticket. That's coming in. Opening and new beginnings. Nine nine portal. You know, we tipping the scale right now. There's so many different things that's coming in that uh, that you, we really need to be able to be grateful for. You know, we've been having a pretty couple of rough years. You know, you, it could probably been like this for a while. You know, and you're opening new doors. If you know you've been closing, you know there have been different things that's telling you you had to let go of what no longer serves you people that no longer serve you you know if you've been pouring into other people and not pouring into yourself and you finally out allowing yourself to cut off those cords from that you're opening yourself up to new abundance towards your life so go ahead you know you got these new different things that's coming in and you really you know you really deserve that and this is coming in for a lot of different people right now so you know this is all about the new beginnings that's taking place so it's just like, you know, hey, you know, go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do it. All right, collective, what do I what do I need to tell my love bugs whatever else is coming through that they need to be able to pay attention to? You know, you may be going through different things with your children right now, especially if you have children on, along the spectrum. You know, they've been going through different changes too. I always tell people, you know, uh your your children of the spectrum is uh silent alarms from God. You know, they're they're, they're God's silent blessings. And some new love is coming through. You know, with this new... Oh, okay, where am I putting it at? Okay. New blessings that's coming in from these new beginnings. I mean, new love is coming in for these new beginnings that's taking place into your life. My shoot, you go ahead and get that. That could be that friend that they were talking about. That friendship. Because the healing is... Oh, okay, 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 okay. They tell me to go ahead and grab two more. Surrender. What did I say? Surrender and release what no longer serves you. I just said that a few minutes ago. Okay, what else do I need to get? You do, 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 do. You got a soulmate that's coming through. Okay. So it's just like where they're telling you right now, they told me to go ahead and stop for a second. Listen to the music. It's giving you music. When you allow yourself to clear your vibrations, listen to the music. Okay. Because it's just the fact is, it's just like when you clear your mind and you're opening yourself up, when you allow yourself to actually give yourself to free will, you know, everything is free will. When they feel universe and collectives or whatever, they feel like if things are detrimental, that's when they're going to step in, when they know it's, it's like life involvement into different things like that. But other than that, we have to have free will on doing what they want us to be able to do. We have to be able to come towards them excuse me and allowing ourselves to say hey universe i'm open to whatever you need to learn no whatever i need to know to get me towards where i need to be they already are where they're at they're trying to get you there and just being able to know your guardian angels are there you know even when we're going through stuff a lot of times we feel like we're going through it alone you know and we're really not they're always there that's why they say when you go on your retreat maybe you've been thinking about going off for the weekend you know um being able to take time out for yourself if you got your children you know and if you're that type of person that like going hiking or you know or even taking time like if you have you know you can take your kids to somebody like hey can you just take them for a day or two for me so i can just take time out for myself i just need to clear my mind because you got so many miracles that's coming in like i said you may be having health issues right now or you're dealing with a court case there's different some you know there may be people dealing with court cases right now so that could be a lot on anybody's mind you, you know they're like it's easy for a person that's not dealing with that 
So it's just letting you know there's even when you're going through this and even though it may be something that you're clearing out because we're doing a lot of karma clearing and you, you'll you hear different times when universe will come to you, your, your debt has been paid. And when your debt has been paid, sometimes those miracles come through some hardships that's taking place into your life. But when you go on retreat, you will see that that miracle can come through hardships and a lot of times we don't realize that now hardship a miracles open up new beginnings and it's letting you know from those new beginnings you have support you're going through a spiritual growth you know going through all these different things you know hardships can come through with health issues the death of a loved one uh financial uh trauma that you're going through trauma within trauma within itself you know knowing your light knowing your power like they said within truth and uh, integrity you have friendships whether it's through spiritual or you have them on earthbound so it's just like you have to be able to pick your true, your, your friends wisely. If you've been going through some different things where if you, you know that you're making up excuses for people on the reason why they're toxic like that, that means you have to let them go. I've been been like that for many years. It, it had to do with loved one. It had to do with children. It had to do with toxic exes. You know, toxic within myself, always making excuses. You know, I'm not going to put it on everybody and not put it on myself. There was times I was like that. I had to get, you know, it will be different times where I sit up here and say, I need to stop dealing with certain people because they're toxic. But then it was just a part of me. I had to be able to say, hello, hi. <laughs> you know, there have been parts of you you won't have to let go of too so you can quit attracting stuff like that. And when you're going through these different things, you're clearing your karma for those things to happen. And you, it's just the fact that you don't realize when you stay connected with people that are no longer serving you, you start collecting that karma they got coming on. You really don't want to do that. So it's just at that time going through friendship, that friendship can lead you to some healing. A lot of times your friendship can be with yourself. You know, sometimes we've got to add that, that self-love that, that's towards ourselves to get to that healing. Because that healing within new love. It could be new love with an actual new partner. It could be uh, your, you know, your kingdom spouse kingdom husband kingdom wife or whatever or this could be new love within yourself because the healing needs to be able to take place being able to understand the healing and because it's just like your healing your body care and miracles are in a reverse you know and these are the different things so you have to be able to understand you got to take care of your body you know we all got to do that you know different things are coming in dreams where they're letting you know because it's just like been a, you know when you've been opening up to yourself and you've been getting very dramatic dreams there's a lot of people that are getting these dreams to where there's going through a rapid change that is very drastic you know sometimes it'll come into where it's apocalyptic or you have these zombie you know these zombie dreams and stuff like that and it'll be coming in really crazy and it's letting you know you're going through a huge change of events that's coming into your life where it may be feeling like you may be falling in something sometimes it makes you feel like you don't have control over what your situation is and they're telling you to take control of that even though you can't take control of your life take control of the emotions to be able to understand and not knowing you know when you can be able to see within the dreams that answer you know within the blessings you'll see that these prayers is you know these answer prayers is waiting for you but you have to be able to believe in the blessings that's coming in. Be able to have that harmony. And a lot of times that harmony where when I said health issues. So it could be something with the body care that needs to be taken care of. And surrendering what, what no longer serves you. And for you doing that, when I said going out, you know, um, going out to towards hiking or, you know, canoeing or whatever it is, you know, depending on where you're at in the world. You know, and being able to trust the process of the you know being able to trust the process of divine timing you know because it's coming in and being able to take playfulness you know being able to understand that you got abundance is coming in you know maybe it could be like five dollars extra or on your bank account that came in or you found something in the laundry or something like that you know you got to be grateful for that and being able to know you got a soulmate coming in you know, this this new love has been probably popping up in your dreams and stuff like that. It could be somebody you know or somebody you don't know. You know, if you've been doing a lot of clearing right now, which what, what we're doing, you know, for what... Um, oh, I don't want to do that because I'm listening to my music right now. Just opening up. But, you know, you want to be able to, you know, clear those binds so you can be able to uh, bring a soulmate in because you truly do deserve it especially if you've been in a bad relationship or just relationships you know just in general you know 
you just uh you would really want that into your life you know whether or not even you know some people are like man look i just uh, got out of something i'm not trying to deal with nothing like that and you know it's just like this that and the third and i truly understand <laughs> you know i truly really, truly 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 understand and you're going through these different things okay okay collective what do i need to know what do i need to know what do i need to know Like stick out there. I'm not used to doing these like that because y'all know if, when I usually do my tarot, I usually just uh, shuffle them and you usually just turn them over. But um, see the intentions. They said your intentions. You have to be able to know what you know what you really want into your life. You know you want peace into your life. You got to be able to manifest. You know writing your goals down. Um, and you want freedom from whatever you're going through, you know, because a lot of times when we stay focused on what we don't want, that we, we can't we be able to have our balance to that. And just being able to say, hey, I'm focusing on clearing my, you know, clearing my life of, of things that's no longer serving me, situations no longer serving me. Being able to step, you know, hold my boundaries up. You know, a lot of times it's hard for us to have boundaries up within the different things that's taking place. Okay, draw two. Oh, it made me feel like I'm doing uno. Um, let's say draw two. Um, okay, this is it. Okay, enchantment just come in. Being able to th see things is magical, you know. Being able to study uh, within yourself, you know, no different things is taking place into your life for a reason, you know. Studying on whatever you're going through, you know, maybe. Um, you're going back to school or something like that or you being guided on a different path to study on things like that you know with me I've been meditating a lot really meditating and been holding my you know really been closed off you know um, towards myself so I can be able to focus on me and for me being able to do that it gives me a lot more time to be able to study and being able to know what I want and being able to be stern with it you know it comes to self discipline and I had to be able to learn how to do that and I'm really grateful for that because it's just like life has been so much peaceful, so much more peaceful for me. Even when I don't know what's going on around the corner, I may get frustrated or whatever like that. But at least I know, hey, you know, um, this, this comes with life. You know, I'll be coming up with ups and downs and stuff like that. And uh, knowing good things are coming to you. But just place your intentions on knowing exactly what you want. You know, there'll be different things that, you know, is really coming in right right now. Even if you've been doing the clearing, you know, because I'll I, you know, be hearing how, you know, energies like rise. I've been doing my clearing. I've been letting go of things that, and people that no longer serve me and stuff is still, still going on. Right now, you're being tested as well. Tested on your patience, tested on your belief, on, on your relationships that you're wanting to come in, you know, tested on, on on your kingdom spouse, all those different things. Are you willing to, you know, allow yourself to wait a little bit longer? And, you know, that little bit longer could be like 24 or 48 hours. You just never know. But these are the different things that are telling you you're going to have to be able to trust the process in which, you know, I, I hate that word, you know, that saying trust the process, patience and all that stuff. Because I'm like, no, I want my stuff like yesterday. <laughs> you know, what I'm, saying? I'm just tired. I'm just really tired. And, you know, going through those different things in, in life. But it's like through my whole situation, I've appreciated for the fact of me being patient. And I see what patience has really got me, you know, through different things that I had to be able to be patient for within myself, within my situation, within my change, within my healing. And it's brought me so many, uh, you know, different uh, perspectives out on life that I can really see at a higher point. So, you know, I'm hoping this will be able to, you know, help you out in some kind of way. Like I said, I think this has something to do with Libra, uh, Libra, Capricorn, um, Aquarius, and Pisces, I think I said. I forgot who I said at first because there's so many different ones that's coming in and so many different stuff. And I'm not used to doing it this way. But, you know, like I said, uh, uh, freedom and intention is, is in reverse because it's just like you know if we're still focused on the things that's going on which i truly understand you know universe understands what we're going through is not easy you know what we're going through is not easy and especially if you know you've been dealing with it for a long time you're exhausted you're tired you know so you're going through that and they understand that that's why they're telling you trust in what they're doing and let them do the work whatever you're going through and whatever court cases or whatever what was what, what's going on trust and believe you know you didn't do something like that and these things are coming in they're telling you to have faith because it's going it's going to be a flip of the skirt for you you never seen coming so i hope you were able to resonate with that you know uh much love to everybody 
Um, I'll go ahead and give a, a shout out on the next video because I forgot to have my, my book open. So much love to you. Peace.